Hi there, I'm Lee Doubleday. I'm going to be showing you how to apply for the Military Award Program with the Imagine America Foundation. Uh, first, you will need to go to our website, which is www.imagine-america.org. Once you're on the website, you want to click on Apply for Scholarships. It's up here in the top right-hand corner. I'm going to click that with that load. All right, great. Now you want to click on Apply for Scholarships here. There will be instructions on this page, but I'm actually going to just walk you, walk you through this in the, in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Apply for Scholarships, and it's going to ask you uh, to create a profile. That is the first step in the application process is to create a profile with Imagine America. So you want to indicate that you are an active duty reservist or a veteran of the United States Armed Forces. Then type in your name and your age. Um, and this is uh, a test application here. So your answers might look a little bit different than this, but uh, I just wanted to walk you through how to do this. I'm just typing in some dummy information here. All right, now you're gonna create a login uh, using your email and then a password of your choosing. Uh, this will come into play later, and I'll show you how to log back into your account to check your application status, but you're creating a profile inside of our system, so this is the part where you're creating your login credentials right here. Uh, then you're going to tell us what program that you're interested in, in studying. Uh, we have a number of different programs here, so you know, try to find the one that best suits what it is that you're looking to do. Uh, and then tell us how you found out about us. Did you find out about us through Google or another website or a friend? Uh, just let us know, you know, who sent you this way. We're also going to ask if you're going to need housing assistance while you're in school and whether or not you would like opportunities for employment as you get closer to graduation. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you answer these. It does not affect your eligibility for the scholarship. Uh, we'd just like to know uh, some additional information about yourself. And then finally, you just have to agree to our terms and conditions, uh, which just basically says if we're, you know, uh, need to email you or call you regarding your scholarship application or education, uh, you know, we have the right to, to be able to call you on the number you've provided. All right, let me click next. Great, so your profile is created. Now the last step to do is to apply for the scholarship. So over here on the left-hand side, you'll see something that says apply for scholarships. You wanna click on that. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna pull up all the schools that participate in our military award program for you to be able to apply to. So you just have to find the campus that you're looking to attend. And in this case, I'm gonna click on the IF Test College, but you'll find your school listed here. Uh, once you click on the school, you just click apply. And we're basically gonna ask you for just some additional information. Um, it's really verifying a lot of the information you already gave us, but we wanna know, you know, hey, when do you plan to start? When do you plan to graduate? So if you know it's a year long program, then, you know, you can adjust the dates here. Uh, we wanna know, you know, what branch of the service you were in. We have them listed here. Um, whether or not you are honorably discharged, reserves or uh, active duty. And then your date of discharge, um, if you have one. Uh, and then we also ask all of our applicants for a couple of sentences on why they chose to attend that school and what the Imagine America scholarship would do for them. Uh, but that is the application. The next step in the application process is to watch our financial planning made simple video. It's a two minute video just designed to help you better understand the borrowing and repayment processes of any loans you might be taking out. Um, if you're applying for this scholarship, you likely have used your GI Bill some other place and you're looking for additional funding, which is why you found us. Um, but the video is really just designed to help you um, have a checklist on what to talk about with your financial aid department. Chances are you've already met with them or you are planning to meet with them and we just want you to be prepared for that. But at the end of the two minute video, you'll see a red button that says submit and complete. That button will uh, submit your application and move everything along in the process. I'm not going to make you wait through the two minutes here, but I'll fast forward to the video behind the scenes and show you what it looks like when the button comes on. Once you've completed the video, click this complete and submit button, and this will submit your application. 
That's it. It was pretty easy. The only thing left that we ask of you is to refer a friend if you have one that would benefit from a scholarship like this to go to career and technical school. Tell us their name and email so we can send them a link uh, to apply for the scholarship. Um, one last thing that I want to go over is your profile. You can update any of this information here. So if you want to change your, this is just a stock photo. If you want to change that, you can. Uh, you can also, um, and I'm going to copy this because I want to show you something else in just a second, but you can update uh, any of this information that you want to. Uh, just be sure to save it once you're done. Um, and I want to log out really fast so that I can show you where to go to check on the status of your application. First, you want to go to www.ifportal.org, and this will take you to the login screen. Type in your username and password. Okay, great. Now, if I want to check the My Application, I just click on My Applications over here, and it will drop down between Complete and Active Applications. So if you just click on Active, it'll show you where your pending application is. So you see here, it says Pending College Review. That means your application is pending review by the college. If the college has made a decision as to whether or not you're going to be awarded, your application will then move into this complete category. And underneath the status, you'll see a certificate and a ribbon. Uh, if you've been awarded, and that will be your certificate and award letter that you can download and then turn into financial aid. And that's it. So if you, if you have any questions or need anything else, let me know. I'll leave my contact information in the caption below. And uh, thank you for joining me.